Hey, good morning, everyone. Lee Taft here. Welcome to Speed Tips from My Garage in the Classroom. Hey, this is going to be a little bit faster today. It's Saturday morning. This is episode number 40. It happens to be snowing outside, and in about 40 minutes, I got to head downtown Indianapolis to speak at the NSCA Coaches Clinic, and it's pretty bad weather. Everything's canceling around, so I'm going to make this kind of fast so I can get out of here and uh, get myself ready. And I got to go shovel first before I can, so I can get my car out. But hey, so. Today, what I want you to do is understand when you start a speed camp, you're going to go through all your warm-up stuff, all your activation, all the movements, get your deceleration training and your landing. Then let's start to hit re-acceleration. Now they're ready to go. So the two I want to talk about today are pretty simple. One is the shuffle, change of direction. The other one is a split step to a hip turn, change of direction, which is really common in sports where you have to be able to approach or close out on somebody and then be able to get back quickly and defend. So let me take you through the shuffle change of direction, which is pretty easy to do pretty quick because we kind of talked about it in the last episode on decelerating with a lateral shuffle. So what we're gonna do, let me get you down a little bit more here. What we're gonna do is when I take my athletes through the progression, we talk about just a one foot pop into the ground and then come right back to where we are. So all we're trying to do is get them to understand that quick reactive stiffness quality that we want. So it's right back. So I can get a whole ton of athletes doing this because it doesn't take a lot of space. Then what we do is we make it a tier two where I'll point to either side. So if I point this way, they pop, they come right back here. But what I'm trying to get them to understand is don't overload. If you overload and drop too much, you're going to be much slower. Plus, you're incurring the you know more of your power uh, demand than the elastic energy. Which is when I change directions quick, it's got to be that elastic stiffness. So my knees are definitely bent, and my hips are definitely back, but it's pretty stiff. Okay, I don't want to sink and then come way back up. Okay. And then the next progression is we go a little further. So now we start to get a full shuffle and then a quick change of direction, all right? From there, we start adding more of the tier twos and then the tier threes. So tier three would be, I'm either facing the coach or I'm facing a partner. And then when they change directions, I change directions. And the mechanics that we talked about on decelerating apply, okay? Quick perpendicular, knee to the inside, control the shoulder, no sway, things of that nature, okay? The second one is a split step to a hip turn. So you already know the hip turn, the retreating scale, and you know the split step. Now we'll put it together. We come at it, hit boom. Then we come back and we can come out of it with a shuffle, with a crossover, or a lateral run step, or a turn and run. So come in, hit, push, and then any technique I want to use. The key is make sure you introduce these at times when they're ready to do them. So make sure you get a thorough warm up and then start making them competitive. Competition can, could be with you being the one that's, you're, you're pointing really quick so they're competing against you or put them in a tier one partner or a tier two partner or depending on the drill, a tier three partner based drill. Okay, so hey, a little bit faster today. I gotta get going. I gotta get my boots on and shovel a little bit here. So we'll see you tomorrow for episode number 41. All right, have a great day, everyone. Bye now.